village. The only thing we're getting close to is running out of fuel and walking back. Searching this godforsaken jungle and never find a damn thing except spider monkeys and malaria. Maybe some things are just better off lost. Whoa! Ah, just a thermal. Nothing to worry about. Bob, I don't think we're alone. Bob, we got to get out of here. Give me a minute. Just give me a minute. jump team is about to go wheels up. Pass me through. All right. Listen up. Satellite imaging has located the rebel base. Now, the rebels are being controlled by none other than Gustavo Marquez. You know what kind of sick bastard he is, so I don't have to go into detail, but he's got lots of boots on the ground, some heavy firepower, so don't get spotted. On top of that, we don't have permission from the Valverde government to be in country, so if this mission gets pear-shaped, you're up the Amazon without a paddle or a boat. This job just gets better by the minute. 
Well, what's the matter, Tank? You afraid of getting your shorts a little wet? Not as long as you're here to yank my cord, Chief. That's still the chatter. Your primary objective is Dr. Angelus Banes, biochemist. She was abducted several months ago from an international conference on bioweapons. Our intel has it that Marquez has forced her to create some kind of hybrid biochemical agent that's dispersible by missile. What kind of chemicals are we talking about, boss? We won't know that for sure until we breach the camp. Fortunately, we've had a man on the inside the last couple of years. He's been working his way up through the ranks, gaining Marquez's trust by selling him intel and weapons. He's gonna help you out. If everything goes as planned, he'll take out the missile, take out Marquez, save the girl, and get home safe. And if you fail, I have orders to level the entire area. I'm talking bombing that place completely out of existence. Am I clear? Everybody got that? The mission is to go. Yeah, boss. Good. You know what to do. Get the job done, die trying. Colonel Carter out. I'm jumping fine. The mission is the girl. We've been after Marquez for years. I know what nailing that son of a bitch would mean to you. Am I right to be concerned? Chief, your mission is to go. Yes, sir. to be kidding me.
getting you out of here. He was right about one thing. It's time to leave, baby. You owe me. I'll owe you all night long. Really? I took you more for a five minute kind of guy. State East Squad, what's their status? Well, it looks like they're taking heavy fire, sir. So much for not being seen. They find the girl yet? Unknown, but we may have a bigger problem, Colonel. Did they fire the missile off? Negative, but it looks like it detonated. Chemical agent may have been released. Good God. If that's true, we need to glass that entire area before it gets out. Not until my men are clear. Colonel, your men are probably infected already. You have no way of knowing that. Is that a risk that you are willing to take? You're damn right it's a risk I'm prepared to take. Nothing happens until my men are clear of that zone. Yeah, well, they're doing a real good job, aren't they? Lose the gun, not lose your life. Been a while. I knew I would see you again. Can you walk? Yes, thank you. Thank you when I get you out of here. Get on the radio, Sergeant. Let's get out of here. You good? Hello, zero. Hello, zero. This is six one. Mission complete. Mission complete. Require immediate evac to this location. Sir, I've got contact. Hold this position, Sergeant. We're low on ammo, boss. Make them count. All right, scramble the chopper. Bring him home. LZ coordinates. Colonel. You can't send more troops into a contagion hot zone. Land them right there. This is HQ. Proceed to grade 11, 13 for EVAC. Six one, wait, I... How far? Four clicks. Four clicks, my ass into the radio. Zero, this is six actual. Request immediate pickup this location. Over. It's too hot. Actual, this is HQ. Request denied. Your position is severely compromised. Just bring the bird down on this location immediately. Out. He's terminated communication. OK. All right, send the chopper in. Bring him back. That's it. 
If that chemical agent gets out, it's your funeral, Colonel. Let's go. Smash and grab. What about our operative? Didn't make it. <laughs> What's so funny? I waited patiently two years to cut that gringo's throat, to see him bleeding like a pig. You sick son of a... Sergeant! Leave it. I'll tell you what we ought to do. We should take him up 35,000 feet and drop him without a shoot. He's 50 below for three minutes, and without the proper O2 mix, he would decompress. If he ain't dead by the time he hit the ground, he'll wish he was. Got all the wipe a smile off his face. Go ahead and do it! Tank. He'll get his. Where the hell they go? They crashed and burned, Colonel. Just like the rest of this operation. They're off the grid, sir. They lost all contact. Not even their locator beacon. No, that's not right. A down chopper doesn't just disappear. Find them. On it, sir. Try to get you up, okay? No, wait. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Let's go.
Get everyone away from the wreck. Protect the girl. But you're going off mission. That's right. Everyone out! This place is unstable. Everyone out! Move. Let's go. You're the chief. Corporal, grab Felix. Felix is gone, chief. Hudson and Dillinger must have fallen somewhere. Listen, I think that's the smoke from the chopper. What I'll do is I'll go see if I can get some help, yeah? Hurry. I'll be back free now, okay? Stay there. Edwards, Neymar? They're gone. So we're not flying out of here? And what was your first clue? Perimeter. Sarge, check for comms. Sergeant, I need you here. Searching for survivors. Right. We should get the hell out of here. Sit around the lights, I think. Come on. I need to call my superiors in Washington. They need to be apprised of the situation. The situation is under control. Under control, Colonel. You've got a team that's lost. You don't even know if they made their objective. All we do know is the chemical agent is loose. We don't know that. That chemical agent could have been destroyed in the blast. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bring down the hammer. Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, what that means is that I'm going to authorize a massive tactical strike on that area. It's time to bring down the rain and wash Marquez off the map. That is not your call. That's my call. This is my mission. Colonel. 
All you have is a major screw-up and probably a court-martial. Oh, but don't worry. I'll say nice things about you. I'm giving Stakely more time. Every second that you delay puts a million lives in jeopardy. They are hundreds of miles from the nearest town or village. 48 hours. That's what I need. No. No, you don't get 48 hours. You get 24 hours and not one minute more. If that weapon gets out, that blood is on your hands, Colonel. And your little court-martial, oh, that will be the least of your worries. Move. Hello, zero. Hello, zero. This is 163. Over. Hello, zero. Felix Edwards and Newmeyer dead. Hudson Dillinger, MIA. Rico, Flores come back with nothing but dog tags. No doubt what they deserve. How's Potter? You live. Sit down. If anyone's going to kill him, it's me. Keep your eye on your knife. House come, Sergeant. Sat phone's fried. Static on the radio. Not getting nothing in this dense jungle. Well, keep trying, right? Tank. Keep it on him. Pleasure. What's it look in, Chief? I guess as we landed four, five clicks away from the village, which gives us a general radius of this. Should we just sit put, wait for a pickup? We're not even supposed to be here. You know they're not sending a search party. If we're lucky, they may have scrambled a couple of helicopters, maybe a UAV, looking down through this canopy, down here, wherever here is. Well, we've got no air support, we've got no radios, and the nearest vehicle's probably 100 miles back in the village. Yes, Angeles. Captain. Stakely. Maybe you have an explanation for this. Most of the plants here are unrecognizable, and the air is thicker. I don't know about you, but I've never experienced anything like that before. And what would make you the environmental expert? I'm a chemical biologist. You're not buying any of this, are you, boss? Does it really matter, does it, Tank? Because we're not going to be here long enough to find out. Chief? Let's move out in five. Yes, sir. As of carry everything you could, did you really feel it necessary to bring another RPG? How well, was you think? You're gonna bump into a tank in the jungle. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. That's what I said about my ex-boyfriend. Oh, Chief. Don't give him something to think about.
Oh my god. What do you think? Maybe a gorilla? You know, whatever did this has two feet, three claws, and moves pretty darn fast. Maybe he killed him with his hands tied and no weapon tank. Maybe it was his men. He knows more than he's letting on. What do you think, Marquez? Anything to say? Yeah. Only that you and your men are all gonna die. I'm gonna take great pleasure in every moment of it. Let's move. You think my men are gonna let you take me? Like that? Of course not. That's why I'm gonna kill all of them. We'll see. Marquez will pay for what he did to you. I was fascinated by this man when I first met him years ago. I was fascinated about the passion that he fought for the things he believed in. That missile, it's not why they kidnapped you, is it? He wanted me to create an airborne virus. The missile was just a delivery system. I told them I'd rather die. The problem was, they wouldn't let me. Hadelman, Sarah, Angelis, Captain Stakely Marquez. They have a history, don't they? Yeah, you could say that. That's well, why we couldn't get a signal. Too damn low. Yeah, well, it's gonna even up eventually. Where? Where's Potter? Oh, you're joking. Who had eyes on him last? Damn it. Potter, sound off! Can't talk, remember? Oh, that's just great. Stigley, you got some outfit out here, eh? You know, something in this jungle's haunting us. We've got to keep moving. We can't turn back. He knows the mission. Let's move. From the radio. Where are you going? I'm going to go try and find a signal. Sir, be careful. It's our only radio. Zero. This is Halo 6 Actual. Come in. Over. Mates Q, this is Captain John Stakely. Operations Detachment Commander. This is Team 607. Come in. Over.
No signal up there, boss. Round up the team, do it quickly and do it quietly. Trouble? We're not alone. Rico Flores. Double back and find out what's in that tail. And do it quietly. Yes, sir. about this place. What did you see up there that got you so spooked, boss? I don't know. Be more vague, please. <sighs> Somebody was stalking me from the trees, watching me. A panther? They're indigenous to this area. Didn't look like no cat to me, more like a reptile. A little lizard spooked you, boss? And that's not all the water. It didn't seem right, didn't taste right. It smelled different, burned my skin. I have a theory, but you're not gonna like it. Lady, I already don't like it. But I gotta hear it. A few years ago, paleontologists found a massive crater in the heart of the Amazon, over 60 miles in diameter. Come on, Doc. How could something that big go unnoticed for so long? It was so overgrown, you couldn't see it from the sky. No way. When you consider there are over a million square miles of unexplored rainforest in South America, it's not really that hard to believe. The point is, the crater wasn't the real discovery. It was the creatures living inside, trapped there for nearly 50 million years, cut off from the rest of the world. An entirely closed off ecosystem. The plants were different, even the water. So you're saying we're in some kind of ancient, uncharted crater? Yeah. The Lost World. Like the movie? Like Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Look, it's a book about these people who go on this expedition to South America, and they find this plateau where dinosaurs still exist. So it's like the movie, then? I doubt we need to worry about actual dinosaurs. But there are dangers. I think we've only scratched the surface of what we've discovered here. That's all well and good. But how do we get out of here? This could go on for 100 miles in every direction. We take the stream. What stream? The stream was flowing west. So we go back, we find it. It's got to have an outlet someplace, right? Yeah. Makes sense. In theory. Good, we'll get some rest in. We leave here in single file. Anything moves, shoot it. Hate the jungle. something straight ahead six or seven meters do you think that's what got potter i think it wants to get us doing the hunting.
tank. Stay with the girl. You two follow me. Not again. Not again. Keep it together, Sergeant. Half the squad's dead. I think it's an appropriate time to start panicking, Chief. What do you make of it? What's our next move? I think we go hunting. No, sir. It's like the jungle just swallowed him. Scramble predators find him. Sir. Time's almost up, Colonel. Stakely and his team will make contact. You just stay true to your word, don't jump the gun, and my men will come home alive. I hope so. For your sake as well as theirs. I don't know, there's something not right about this place. I haven't felt right since we got here. What the hell was that? That's not possible. Hey, Doc. What was that about not bumping into dinosaurs? A theory? Consider it a bad theory. You see any of these things in your little crater in Brazil? Hey, boss. What? Am I seeing things? There's someone down there feeding the dinosaurs. Give me that. Is it Potter? Don't look like him. Right here. Wait, where are you going? I'm gonna go have a chat. Good morning. Got a second? Stop. 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 Come on, get yourself chopped up. You're coming with me. Start them. I said you're coming with me. No. Go away. Boss, what's going on down there? Are you insane? 
insane? You, you could have killed it. That was the idea. That creature is the only reason you're alive. Come on, come on. Get off. Okay, quick. Look at this. I don't like this. Triceratops. It's, it's mainly protecting its young. It's incredible. Uh, no. That is incredible. The boss is in trouble. Take this. You're gonna need this. Sarge, come with me. Jason. Look at him. Boss, we ain't got time for this. We need to go. Follow me. Where's Marquez? I don't know. Sir. Father. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go inside. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Watch your step. Huh? Down here, down this way. <laughs> Welcome, just right, right through here. I didn't have time to clean up. Watch out for piranhas. <laughs> no, not really. We're safe here. place you live here yeah uh, roughly five years uh, but I'm a busy man so I may have lost a year or two somewhere You're telling me you've been living here alone in this cave for over five years not alone never alone never alone I've made some good friends here actually a couple enemies including including that bad one up there who's this Hands up, hands up. Yeah. This was, this was my friend and associate, Mr. Driscoll. We discovered the crater together, he and I, and unfortunately he died the day we got here. You never found a way out? Well, I, I attempted. I tried to find a super way out for a long, long time, and then I found this cave <laughs> and it keeps me safe from everything out there and it's the only fresh water source available in the area so i embraced my destiny and now this is where i'm meant to be it's 
where I'm meant to be. So who are you? <clears throat> professor Malcolm Roxton. Hi. Just a former professor of comparative anatomy and evolutionary biology. It's an honor, sir. I've read all of your papers on phylogenetic systematics. Your discoveries are fascinating. Oh, thank you. You understand why it's a blessing to be here. I know more about prehistoric biology than any human on Earth right now. I'm sure you've been through a lot, Professor. <clears throat> However, we have a few questions about the place that we need answered. Well, class, <laughs> those are dinosaurs with over 65 million years of evolutionary adaptation and natural selection under their belts. So it's exactly as I thought, Captain. We're in a crater where the ecosystem has been completely cut off. But if nothing can get out, then... A plus! <laughs> so you're saying we can't get out of here? I said I stopped looking. I didn't say there wasn't a way. I spent the better part of a decade mapping out this fraction of the crater. Right here. So what's our position? Here. We were going to follow the stream to find an exit. It's not a terrible plan, per se, but you're going to run into a little problem. What kind of problem? Well, the river runs down and ends up right here. Death Valley. Death Valley. Named quite literally, actually. You don't want to go to Death Valley. Why? What's so big and bad down there? Another T-Rex. <laughs> it's much worse. Much worse. Much worse. But it is the way out, right? Yeah. Almost certainly. Good. So that's the way we take. If we run into any problems, we shoot our way out. This place is certainly the last ecosystem on Earth that has been untouched by man. I'm not... I'm not gonna sit around and watch you destroy it. Let's just shoot this nutter, boss, and get out of here. It's not the way we do things around here, Sergeant. Professor, I will take your pets into consideration. However, if you put my men in arms away, I'll chop them down. You understand? Can't really argue with that rationale. Good. our differences and I know I've said thank you before but honestly I don't think I can thank you enough for giving me my life back well that's yet to be seen so what's the story between you Marquez well it's very simple Marquez is a sadistic dictator he has no conscience no remorse he would kill half his country to rule the other half but I guess you found that out already. My job was simple. Flush him out, take him down. But it turned out to be anything but simple. After two years of always being one step behind in marketing, started getting really out of hand. Started killing his own people. First the men, then the women, and then the children. Every new village I turned up in, I'd find a dead child. Then two, then three. My failure was costing too many lives. So basically, this is my last chance to bring him to justice. If I fail this time, I'm off the mission. Marcus gets away his coffee. You can't let him get away.
Chief, you need to lead the mission. I'm not leaving here without Marquez. Even if Marquez is out there, you may never find him. And if you do, what then? I'll get the professor to lead me to Death Valley, just like you guys. I don't plan living here for the next 15 years like a crazy kid. Just let us help you. There's no reason for us to split up. Complete the task and secure the girl. You go off mission, you risk a court martial. Let him try. It's an order. He's not right in the head. Funny, coming from a guy who lives with dinosaurs. Is it just me, or does this seem like a bad place to be walking? He's right. If we run into anything out here, we don't have no flank protection. Gentlemen, ladies, if you want to get out of here, these canyons are the only way. Yeah, we uh, shouldn't run anything too large out here, not till we get to Death Valley. How far? Oh, you'll know. Trust me. Use a knife. Teach you a little bit of honor, huh? Like the boss find Marquez. More like something found them. Saved my life, Marquez. But nothing changes. Not for a moment. Gift for you, Marquez. <laughs> you need me. 
Oh, no, I'm just looking out for my men. I'll deal with you later. Professor, how far we got? We're on the right path. Yeah, you sure? Because it feels like we're walking in circles. Trust me, Captain, I'd like to get you out of here as soon as possible. You don't belong here. You see, before you got here, this place was harmonious, pure. You are chaos. OK? Your presence here only means death and destruction for these wondrous creatures. Oh, the wondrous creatures that are trying to turn me and my men into a buffet. Well, maybe. Maybe they de deserve to die. You know, you got a real sense of humor, Professor. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh, bathroom, if you're Captain, allow it. Chop on, Professor. There's something amazing about this place. With enough funding and the right equipment, who knows what we could learn? You gotta be kidding me. This place has an incredible evolutionary advantage. And it's as if we've traveled back in time. What? It's a metaphor. Definitely not a metaphor. None of us will experience anything like this ever again. Yeah, we'll be dead. I hear that. Think about it rationally. Sure, it can be deadly. But this crater is the discovery of a lifetime. We're in a place that no one else has laid eyes on ever before. Except that crazy professor. Yeah, except for him. And where is he? Professor! Do you hear that? Stand two. I said, shut up! I'll tell you what happened. I lost another good man to one of your harmless dinosaurs. Well, to be fair, this is their land and we are the trespassers. Oh, yeah? You speak one more time. I'm sorry for your loss. I, I am. But this crater, this, this, this lost world, this, this may be the last bastion on Earth for creatures to exist like this. And I'm just trying to protect it. You're not coming with us, are you? 
No, miss, I'm not. You're not serious. This is ridiculous. That outside world, it's a, it's your home. I don't belong there anymore, I'm, <laughs> my home is here. But, Malcolm, you could return with fresh supplies, equipment, assistance. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Hey. What are you laughing at? You. You capitalists believe the entire world belongs to you. That you are entitled to everything that you see. It's disgusting. This man is trying to protect his home from you, from your governments, from your corporations. He knows that this place will never be the same if the world finds out about it. So tell me what is the crime in protecting one's home? Not only I don't blame him, I respect him. Come on, boss. I'm not taking morality lessons from this crazy teacher and baby killer. Give me the map. <clears throat> Excuse me? Give me the map. You knew about the Triceratops. This man's leading us to die. What do you say I waste him right here, right now? Death Valley. You tell me it's the only way out of here, right? Told you the truth, Captain. If you want out, it's that way. Come on, boss. We don't need him. We got the map. Shh. He's coming with us. You're joking, right? Maybe we can find some use for you yet. Lads, get the gear. We're moving out. Thanks for that. For what? For giving them someone else to hate more than me. Fuck. Huh? I think the ballet's just over the, those rocks. Yeah, but it'll be getting dark soon. Don't you think we should just shut it down? Can I have some water? Can I have some water? You think that ugly ass rhino followed us? Not a chance. That ugly ass rhino has a brain the size of a tennis ball, so he's most likely forgot about us when we left the valley. It's the velociraptors. <laughs> Those. Those you gotta watch for. They've probably been tracking you ever since you arrived. That's just great. However, they usually only attack when they're in a significant advantage in numbers, so you're safe. You don't have anything to worry about at the moment. Judging by the way Stigley's been handling things lately, I think we should be quite worried. Not see question, no, we just keep moving on. Let's go. Okay, let's go over. Welcome to Death Valley. I guess I wasn't kidding. State of ammo, Chief. Yeah, well, we've got half a dozen grenades, some flashbangs, nine or ten mags, max. That ain't gonna be enough. You're forgetting something. 
bringing along the RPG is starting to look like a pretty sweet idea. But how's this valley gonna lead us out of here? Even if we make it past the dinosaurs, what then? If I could make it up the cliff, we could probably get a signal of the dispatch. If and probably, two words I love to hear during a debriefing. It's just a matter of fighting off these dinosaurs. I'm not running out of ammo. Uh, Captain, boss, sir, do you, you said you were not going to hurt them. My promise went out the window when you got my sergeant killed, Professor. OK, so you're saying that you want to blaze a trail from here to there? And hope for the best. That's the plan. OK. OK. That's it. I can't be a part of this massacre. This goes against everything I work for. So I bid all of you a goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. I assure you, Professor, you're with me till the end. Once we clear Death Valley, you're welcome to go back to the sanctuary of your little cave, Professor. Until then, it's welcome to the war. These creatures are the most deadliest predators on the face of the planet in the last 65 million years. So how do you expect to survive that? Tank, a little help from modern warfare. Time's up. Stakely's still alive. I know it. For his sake, I hope not. This is Grimaldi. Order the strike. Glass that jungle now. Chief, this is over there. Radio for help. You, give me your weapon. What? All of them, your weapons, now. And the pistol. Tank. You might need it. Now move! What's he doing? Leaving our asses! Sir, I've got them. They just resurfaced on radar. You hear that, Grimaldi? They're alive. Call off the strike. I'm sorry, Colonel. It's too late. No. It's not too late. Pick up the phone right now and call it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, you are really edging for that, Court Martial, aren't you, Colonel? Pick up the phone and call off the strike. Do it! Make the call! Fine. You want to play this little game? We'll play your game. This is Grimaldi. Belay that order. I repeat, call off the strike. When this is over, Colonel, you are finished. Got a location on him yet? Affirmative. Great. Let's send out a chopper and bring my boys home safe. Yes, sir. They got the girl out. It doesn't matter if they got her out. My mission right now is to get my team home. They're all expendable, Colonel. We all are. Get off my base. Now! Dick. Six Actual, this is Zero HQ. Chopper is in room. It's hot in here. I read you. Over. You really think that you were going to get out of here? <laughs> Come on, ladies. After me. Come on, come on. That's not the gun, Chief. I hate you, Steve. Let's go, come on.
right, Slick. Showtime. You sure you don't want to go for a swim? Tyreek told me to tell you to come back with the goal, but don't come back at all. No, I don't think we got to worry about Tariq. No one's ever found anything down there before. What makes you think you're any different? Well, the blue hole is a bottomless pit. Even Cousteau couldn't swim the bottom, and I can. And he didn't have these. So on our guns and C4, you're going to bury yourself under the sea floor at sea. Now that I won't have to deal with Tariq, will I? I'll have to face him alone and without the gold.
tell you. Just wait. Just wait for what? Yeah, I may or may not have a little surprise in store, but it's perfectly safe. Trust me. Why do I need to be reassured that it's safe? Come on, can you just chill out? Relax, enjoy the view. Look where we are. This is amazing. It's gorgeous. You're gonna have so much fun. Mm. Come on, let's get checked in. to the barrel reef today? Um, it depends. You available? I need some samples for the lab. I'm actually taking a couple out there in about an hour. Just snorkeling, though. But I'm free for diving this afternoon. 1 p.m. work. 1 p.m.'s perfect. Good. See you then. Babe, let's go. I'm coming. Ready? Yeah. Why didn't we spend a week on the mainland again? You didn't like the Mayan ruins? No, I liked it. It's just seven days of non-stop hiking. It's not my idea of vacation. You helped me plan this trip. Okay, fine. You get to choose all the things we do next time. Oh, what makes you so sure there's going to be a next time? We all just stay here and bring out the locals. Really? Bro? You're hilarious, you know that? Are you ready to snorkel or what? Rod, hey, yes. Man. Hi, I'm Jane. Hey, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. I hope we're not late. Not at all. So you guys ready to go snorkel at the Blue Hole? Yeah, yeah. We're both really excited. The Blue Hole? Yes, the Blue Hole. Welcome on board. Thanks. Yes. So who here has gone snorkeling before? Not like this, you haven't. Snorkeling at the Lighthouse Reef is unlike snorkeling anywhere else on Earth. And if you're really daring, you can swim across the Blue Hole. Most people are not. Now, the ride to the reef is about an hour from here. So I suggest you just relax and enjoy the ride. What is the Blue Hole? It's a huge sinkhole, about three football feet across and six down. And you knew about this? You're going to love it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Turn on some music, there, brother. Tiger sharks, them bull sharks. Rod! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Those are nursing sharks, they're totally harmless. And what's that spear for? Customers who don't pay.
out there floating. One guy, I don't know if he's conscious, unconscious, or what. We gotta get him out of the water. Let's start up the engine. He's waking up. Where am I? Who are you guys? We found you out there by the reef, barely breathing. We gave you CPR, but weren't sure if you were going to make it for a second there. You gave me CPR? You woke up just long enough to say no hospitals. So we brought you back here to this hotel. I'm Sarah. This is Henry. He called me from the boat to meet you. And this is their place. They were on the boat with Henry. Thanks, you guys. I'm Jax. Most people just call me Jax. All right, Jax. How's the head? Drink the local fruit wine, you figure it out. I think I'll survive. So you want to tell us what happened out there? Uh, not really, no. What about this? You want to tell us about this? Now I'm going to ask you one more time. Where is Tariq's money? I don't know. Oh, man, you've been working out. I, uh, I actually felt that one. for yourself and kill our men. You better start making sense. Then where is it? It's at the bottom of the blue hole. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about Spanish gold. He's <laughs> <laughs> talking about Mayan gold. The gold that the crew from the Cortez stole from the native people. No one has found it. No one knows where it is. I know where it is. All right. But I'm warning you. You try anything, Slate, anything at all, and I will put a bullet in your head and bury you in that hole myself. Okay, I get it, I get it. 
I found it snorkeling. It's amazing what people leave behind, huh? You mean like the Mayans? I dove to the bottom of the blue hole. You went to the bottom? What else did you find? Hey, look, man, you don't have to tell us anything you don't want to, but I'm sure the police will find this out pretty interesting. I don't want to involve you guys in anything too dangerous, but... if you really want to know... Give me a beer and let's go outside. Yes, boss. Any sign of them, boy? No, boss. But the whole area around the blue hole shut down and are locked. The coast guard them, they are like one glasses. Them find a boat missing. Rick, mash up the rod. Passengers presumed dead. What the rod they want me to do? I want you to keep looking until you find them. Or their bodies. Yes, boss. Raul, let's go. So you're saying you owe this Tariq guy a lot of money and you're going to pay him off with the gold? Don't forget Tariq. As far as he knows, I'm already dead. That gold's still out there. I'll tell you what, I'm willing to cut you in if you guys help me find him. Aren't you forgetting something? Someone out there did kill those men. And if it wasn't you, then we should be worried about who or what. What do you mean, or what? I mean, right now, we don't know anything. Dr. Jones here has been setting up charges in Blue Hole, so so who knows what the hell he's unearthed? What exactly are you saying? I'm saying I'm in. I don't care about the Spanish gold or the lost treasure. I just want to know what's out there. I care about the gold. Yes, me too. Rod. Count me in. Listen, we came out here to dive that hole anyways. And now I see more reasons to go. A lot more. I say we go for the gold. We'll be patrolling the air between here and the reef. Well, then we'll have to go the long way around Half Moon Key, huh? Have me with the rest of this. Any sign of Edric and the others? No, boss. On the slate. I think why not? With some different people. Done of we people. That bastard had double crosses for the last time. You know what to do. Yes, boss. And the rest of them? No witnesses. Not one to tell the tale. Yes, boss. When they corrong half moon key, we're on the wait for them. Let's go. goose chase for some lost treasure. Did you forget the part where some gangsters are trying to kill him? Or, like she said, there could be something out there that's even worse than them. Stop acting like you're in the Goonies. The Goonies? Listen, I think that you need to calm down, change your mind, and come with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. No, Rod. I want us to stay together. Otherwise, I'm gonna go back to the hotel, and you can have your little adventure on your own. I hear you. I just think it's a little bit too late for that. We're already set, loaded up, ready to go. There could be a lot of gold out there. Look, if you go on that dive, I'm going to be really upset. I want to go. We'll see you back at the hotel, OK? Hello, and then 
Shit. I want to know who you people are and what you're doing at the Blue Hole. Blue Hole? Don't play dumb with me. That boat of yours had a registered dive out of the hole at nine this morning. And then there's this. You fancy yourself some kind of treasure hunter? Look, you can't keep us here. We haven't done anything wrong. Where do you think you are? You think this is the U.S.? I've got two boats destroyed, covered in blood. Maybe you did find something, and maybe you killed your friend over it. Okay, look, my name's Jackson Slade. I was diving the blue hole, see what I could salvage. Last thing I remember, there was an earthquake. When I came to, these people rescued me. We decided to come back out here and investigate, and that's when we found this. Look, we've got a real problem here. And I think you know damn well it isn't us. In all my years working these parts, I have never seen Anything like this. Oh my god. Let alone twice in one goddamn day. Not even drug runners. This wasn't drug runners. This was bitten off by something big. Something really big. Whatever it is, it's big enough to tear a dive boat to shreds. We need to have an advisory and tell the people to stay out of the water. We need to go to that blue hole. Think about it. This all started after he went down there. Maybe he disturbed something. We need to know what we're dealing with, or we can still do something about it. All right, Slade. Look like you get to go back and hunt for your lost treasure after all. Yeah, what about it? Sorry. Property of Belize. At least we know where there's more. Any word from Rafa and Raul? Nothing yet, big man. You're not done by sundown. I'll find Jackson Slate myself. And kill him and his friends alive. So Jackson, you left out a few details when you were talking to the police. What do you think really happened down there? Honestly, I think Therese guys blew the charges early and left me for dead. And somebody came back and took care of them. I'm sure you got a different theory. All I know is there's something out there destroying the boats. And we just happen to be on a boat. These guys got plenty of gun power and sonar. Anything comes at them, I'm sure they'll take care of them. Tell me, how did you get involved with those low-life gangsters anyway? And were you really gonna pay them back the gold? Of course. Probably. Probably not. Well, I put my hands around your waist, girl, you're feeling so nice when I look into your eyes. You got me hypnotized There's just something about 
Kicking with the locals. I don't know if you're interested, but uh, my buddy, he's got a boat right down the beach. Want to join us? A boat? Yeah, would you like to see it? Uh, no, I shouldn't. Oh, come on. You can lay out. We'll drink tons of champagne, have some caviar. You guys are full of shit. You'll never know unless you go. Boys don't want to go for a swim. <laughs> I don't get paid enough to do anything this crazy. All right. Well, you just keep a lookout, will ya? Good luck. You afraid of the dark? Not the dark. Just what's in it. I told you it's in it. Spanish gold. <laughs> yeah, baby. In some people's opinion, Mayan gold. I tell you, it's not what's in it that you gotta be afraid of. When you get down to about 200 feet, the pressure's gonna be so bad it's gonna make your chest feel like it's gonna explode. Get down to 300, nitrogen narcosis kicks in, you can feel dizzy, you're gonna think that you might be seeing some things, but it's nothing compared to when you get down to 400 feet. You know what, Jax? Why don't you save it? You panic come up too fast, you're gonna die. So just breathe normal and don't panic. When do you guys feel like you need to back out now? Now's the time to tell me. <laughs> you know, Jax, I'm uh, not really one to back out of things, ever. Uh, but I think it'd be a good idea to keep a man on board and, you know, an eye on things, make sure you guys are safe while you're down there diving. So, I think I'm gonna set this one out, huh? Yeah, sure. Hey, hey. I still get my cut, though, right? Yeah. All right. You're a good man. Good luck, bud. Shelf right up ahead here. 
Sorry, man, but we lost you. You nearly did. <sighs> yeah, we ran into my old crew down there. They were torn apart, trampled or something. What else did you guys see down there? We saw footprints. Big ones. Well, did you see what left them? No. We found this. What the hell's that? That's what I intend to find out. The advisor is still in effect. Stay out of the water. You better go try to find Jane. She's probably worried about me. I'll still give you guys a ride to the mainland once he opens up the harbor. Hey, Jax. You want to come back to the lab with me? I could use an assistant. Uh, sure. Great, great. Oh, you still owe me a refund for that ride, man. Hey, I did take you guys out. You know where to find me. That's boss. It's me. Long sleep. Keep an eye on them. I'm not crazy. That's a big ass egg, right? You're not crazy, but it's time we took a look inside. Okay, you need some help with that? Uh, yeah, just don't break anything. Hey, you got any beer? Right in the fridge over there. Here you go. Thanks. It's your beer. I mean, from before. We would have died down there had it not been for you. Yeah, you wouldn't have been out there unless it was for me. Well, that's true. Uh, now, I want you to make yourself useful. This on. Do you think all this is necessary? Gloves. You've seen Alien, right? Never be too careful. <laughs> okay, what do you want me to do? Okay, great. No, I want you to hold it just like this, nice and straight. Very, very, very gentle. Nice and steady, I'm just gonna chip the top. Oh god, it's awful. What is that? It's hydrogen sulfide and methane. A bit pungent, but nothing you can't handle.
about that, bad, is it? What are you doing? What, babe? I thought you came here to party. I did. I, um, I just need another mimosa. All right, babe. We'll be right back. Thanks. more powerful than the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But this one had flippers. It's not our guy. Yeah, our guy didn't have flippers.
creature can find it. We should be safe enough here at the docks, but we're dealing with something pretty lethal out there. I saw that thing's arms and head sticking out of the water. It's a goddamn monster. So what do we do now? I don't know. Those little ones are like gremlins from hell, though. And they won't stay little for long. You're right. We should have destroyed those eggs while we had the chance. How many of those eggs were down there? Two dozen. If just one of those things can do that to a sailboat, can you imagine what two dozen are going to do? Yeah, or how long before they become 200 and 200,000? We got to do something right here, right now. Or else we're going to be dealing with... A new apex predator. The top of the food chain. And the end of our time as a species. We gotta destroy those eggs. All right, guys, we're headed back out to the hole. Let's go. Hey, guys, get ready. Let's go. Before. Maybe we have. Nautical tales of sea monsters are as old as humanity itself. Who knows what's out there? I mean, for all we know, Poseidon Rex could have been hibernating for the past 400 years or even the last 400,000. Maybe nobody ever saw it lift, like the crew of the Cortez. Wait, what'd you call it? Poseidon Rex, king of the ocean. Just like the T Rex was king of the land, T Rex ruled the sea, only bigger and stronger. So you get to name it? For good job. King of the sea, huh? We'll see about that. Make no mistake, P-Rex may have been one of the most fearsome creatures to ever walk the Earth. Or swim the Earth, anyway. OK, so how do we kill this thing? Well, even P-Rex is just an animal. It bleeds like anything else. It's wicked guns, right?
get back to the dock. Let's get off the water, huh? Like a ghost town. Yeah, that tends to happen. People see a prehistoric monster coming out of the water. They got to get the hell off the island. So you're gonna call in the cavalry, right? We'll bring enough firepower to send it back to the Ice Age. Cretaceous period, actually. It. Uh, uh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Just don't forget those eggs are still out there. We'll nuke the goddamn hole if we have to. What about us? I suggest you people hike. Just be careful. I think he knows better than to come after us again. Okay, guys, let's go.
don't know about you, but I'm not much for hiding. I say we either kill that thing or die trying. Oh, we're gonna kill it. safer in here than out there, right? Yes. So what are we looking for? Power. rocket launchers, you name it.
thing looks ancient. Yes. This is Jackson Slade on the Amherst Key. We are alone and we're in trouble. Anyone out there, please respond over. Uh, anyone out there, read me over. Anyone out there, over? This is Jack Slade of the MSK. We are alone and in trouble. Anyone out there, copy this, get back over. I gotta assume we're still alone. Found a little two-seater airplane in the hangar next door. No help comes in the morning, I'll fly that thing out of here. What if it comes back before then? Well, then we'll give it hell. Get some rest. I'll keep watch. strange. I received a transmission on an old military band, one that hasn't been used in over 30 years. That is strange. Actually, that's not even the strange part. Where did it originate from? Ambergus Key, the old military base over there. That outpost has been abandoned for decades. What did it say? Actually, sir, you won't believe this. Up with a guy like Tariq, anyway. Tariq. I don't think you can say what I do is exactly legal, so. <laughs> sometimes you need somebody that knows the ins and outs of a country, right? Mm. And I take it, you probably won't be turning any of that gold into any local government or museum. Would you? Mm. So, what about you? If you're not motivated by money, you're obviously not motivated by danger. Hey, there's plenty of danger in what I do. <laughs> a jellyfish sting, you know. A jellyfish, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, the immortal jellyfish, to be exact. They live in the Blue Hole. I've been studying them for the past three years. Do you have any idea what you've done, by the way? By setting off those explosives, you've done irreparable damage to their habitat. Yeah, slow down, okay? I think finding a ship that's been missing for over 400 years is a little more important than some jellyfish. <laughs> These jellyfish live forever. Forever? As an immortal. They never die. They may hold the key to unlocking the secret of human immortality. Ugh. 
I was just scratching the surface of all the secrets the Blue Hole may have been hiding. Yes, again, you don't think that thing that uh, Poseidon Rex is I immortal as well, do you? I don't really know at this point. What are you doing? This place is so old. I figured they had the stuff lying around, and I was right. What is it? A telegraph. Morse code? Who are you trying to reach? There. The jungle? No. It's a U.S. Army base. How do you know it's there? Trust me. It's there. So now what? Now we wait. Okay, well, what'd you tell them? I told them a 50-foot sea monster was attacking the island, killing everybody, and that they needed to do something about it. Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna take that seriously, huh? Well, it was worth a shot. Wait a minute. What's that sound? Shh. You're not gonna like it. They got your message last night. They have satellite imaging of the creature and they're tracking it now. We have to be off the island in 20 minutes. Why? What happens in 20 minutes? It's gonna be an all-out aerial assault. They're gonna level up the whole thing. What are you talking about? There's still people here. What are we gonna do? The airplane. But only if it's two people. Yeah, well, only one of us is going up. You guys get down to the pier. I'll try and distract it. Yes, sir. It's still rampaging the entire island. Bring it up on the monitors, please. Zoom. Closer. Oh my God. Sir, you won't believe this. I just received a message from the civilians at the base. The ones from last night. Morse code. They're still alive. I hope you told them they got less than 20 minutes to get out of that area before I glass the whole damn thing. Sir, we have to give them time to escape. I can't let that thing get off the island. Let's hope your friends can. Proceed.
weapons free if you can make visual contact with the target. onto his transponder signal. Affirmative. Thanks. 